Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of In-Depth Angling. Today I'm out here on a warm, windy spring day in the Ozark Mountains fishing a small stream for some smallmouth bass and some spotted bass mixed in as well. Uh, heading out with the kayak and gonna be trying some different techniques today. Uh, I got the fly rod as well as some ultralight gear. And we're gonna go see how many we can catch. It should be a good day fishing. Start out here with the Ned rig. There we go. Right on the drop down. First one of the day, right there on the Ned rig chunky guy we'll get him back in the water here send him on his way see you buddy there we go a better fish. Small mouth. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Right in the top of the mouth this time. The custom uh, hair jig that I made. Tied myself. First cast over there by that tree. It's probably about a 12 inch small mouth right there. Gorgeous fish. See you, bud. There we go. Oh, came off. There he came out of the tree. Got him that time. He's wrapped up in that root ball at first. It's another 12 incher, maybe bigger. That jig right down in there. It's gonna be stacked up around this tree pretty good, right around that root wad down there. Just cast that thing over there, letting it glide down. Chunky smallmouth. That's awesome. We're gonna get him back in the water. Thanks for playing, buddy. Oh, a large mouth this time. Oh, stay out of those rocks, buddy. That's a better fish. It's going into that tube. Oh my gosh. No, not that tube. It keeps trying to swim up underneath the, the crossing. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, didn't even reel up. I worked that bait any in that hole. Just let it fall to the bottom there and he took it. I'm gonna get him back in. He gave me a good fight. Thanks for playing, buddy. All right, let's get back in there with this. He seemed to be holding pretty tight to the bottom with this high sun we've got today.
Oh, there's a bite. Got him. It's a smaller one, small mouth. That was almost immediately too. Cool colors on them. That was a good hit. Small mouth there. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Can't keep them from jumping on the line today. I don't know how many fish I'm up to now, but none of these have been any giant trophy fish by any means, but they have a lot of fight in them. Fun to catch in this clear water too. I'm doing to fish this Ned rig, just letting it go down to the bottom. Wait for it to hit and see where your line stops, reel up the slack, and just lift up and you got a fish. That's how you know they want it. Want to eat it like that. Got him. Small mouth. Again, just inhaling this Ned rig today. A little too deep on that one. I think I might've got him in the, yeah. Okay, well at least he's unhooked now. It wasn't too bad, I'm gonna get him right back in. Got him in the gills there slightly, but it wasn't then too bad. I was able to pop it out pretty clean. Got one, hooked up. Feels decent. Oh yeah, this might be the best fish of the day and it came coming on the fly rod. Wow. Running at me a little bit. I have to play him right in this current, trying to keep him out of the heavy stuff over there. Oh wow, this fish is beautiful. Beautiful colors on this bass. On the fly too, this is awesome. Jeez, my knot got caught around the end guide right there. Gotta get him close enough to grab him. Might be able to grab him over here gonna be my personal best smallmouth on the fly. Come here, buddy. Swing over here to me. Got him. Woo! Man, look how beautiful that fish is. Oh, that's so cool. Right on the black streamer. Oh my goodness, that's the best fish of the day. I got a quick measurement on this guy and I'm glad I'm back in the water, but that's by far uh, my personal best smallmouth on the fly rod, which isn't saying much. I haven't done this a ton, but something I'm looking to get into. Looking like it's a 15, 15 inch smallmouth right there. I send her back. That was incredible guys. I'm really happy that I got to do that today. 
I kind of figured I might catch some smaller fish like I have been with it, but uh, for the biggest fish of the day to come on that, it's pretty cool. And to realize how long it takes for that fish to get to that size too, and a small stream like this in the Ozarks is even more impressive. That's why it's important to do catch and release on these smaller streams like you guys have seen me catch quite a few fish today but a lot of them aren't to that size yet it takes a long time for them to get that way and uh, hopefully that fish gets to get a few more inches bigger and get to come out and catch them again i'll grab the net this time I got a fish. He's on there. Oh, this might even be bigger. Or at least he's fighting like he is. I haven't seen him yet. Still haven't seen him yet. I kind of saw a flash there. He's not quite as big, but he's got more energy than that last one does. Jeez. Give him the five way to work out. Come on, man. Got him in. Yes. Awesome. Ah. Oh. I was thinking I was two or three casts back in there and I got another one on that black streamer right there. Kind of imitates a leech. I don't really know how many of those are in this creek, but they seem to like it today. That's another fish. It's not quite as big as the last one. I'm going to say probably about 14 inch or so, uh, but just a beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Let me rocket it off. I'm gonna try fishing off this lower area here. It's been a few minutes since I've had a hit and I've lost two fish over there. So I think they're getting a little used to me in that one pocket. I'll let them rest for a bit and try again in a little while, but I'm gonna try here. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna start working my way across this thing again and maybe trying out further towards the back, letting the current drift my streamer down. Got him. That was awesome. I knew if I got down here at a deep enough angle, I could get to these fish with the fly rod. Oh yeah, not the biggest one I've gotten today on this thing. It's probably smallest actually, but still 10, 12 inch fish. Let's try to lip him. Come here. Got him. Awesome. It's got kind of a dark spot on him right there. Ooh, a little leech. So there are some leeches in this thing. There's one on his fin right there. I'm gonna get that off of him. I say that now that I'm wading in this water too, so. Yep, got him on my hand there. There, he's on the bank. Awesome. That's what those fish are eating. A lot of those crawdads, obviously minnows and leeches in this body of water. Get him going back. 
Thanks for the fight, buddy. That was awesome. There we go. As soon as I turned down, went to go strip again and I felt pressure. It's a littler fish. Still lots of fun on the fly rod. Give you a good fight. I should bring my net over here. Even for these little guys, they're kind of hard to grab. You got nine foot rods sticking above your head. They're kind of hard to grab. Another beautiful fish right there. I've been noticing a lot of them got these little black dots all over them. Not really sure why, but you get that gorgeous guy right back in the water there. He's ready. Try to get over this way some more. fish on. Oh yeah. Come on over here, buddy. Engulf that fly. Got wine everywhere. Oh mess. He's going out for another run. Grab my net. Got him. All right. It doesn't take a whole lot of gear to do this, just a simple fly rod and some streamers right now. Oh, I saw him eat that. That was so awesome. Pinned up top. There you go. All right. Got him. In the net. Very colorful fish right there again. He's ready to go back. Oh, that was a good hit. Hit that right as I was stripping it. There, it fired up. Come here. And that makes everything easier. They honestly fight, the smallmouth fight harder than the trout do too. So if I'm going, going to do some catch and release fishing with a fly rod, I don't know why I wouldn't do this. Just changed up presentations to this little guy. Think that good them guys? Let's go see the crawdad pattern. There we go. Got a fish on. Oh, he completely inhaled that. He completely inhaled that crawdad. The thing is gone. I need my net to reach down there to get him. 
Come here. Got him in the net. All right. Okay. Looks like he's gonna be okay. There's a fish. It's been about the average size today, about that 10 to 12 inch smallmouth. Come here. And the net. All right. I usually say that it's a pretty fish whenever I catch it, you know, and it's a small mouth, but I really mean that. Those fish are really cool looking. I don't know what it is about these creek small mouth, but they are special. Got him. Feels better. Maybe by an inch or two. A lot of fight in this one. Come on, buddy. He just keeps digging down. I get him up. Jeez. Oh, stay out of those rocks. Stay out of those rocks, please. Come here. Got him. Wow. He's kind of got some scars on him. He's been beat up, but really a healthy fish. That's one of those leeches again on his fin. Scrape these things off. Yeah. Let him dry out on the sidewalk there. I'm gonna get him right back in the water. He's been through a lot. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Got him on. Backward smallmouth jump. All right, got him there. Going crazy for this thing. That never gets old. So how I'm working this little bug right here is I'm letting it get down almost to the bottom or on the bottom. It's just getting down there to those fish. And I'm just stripping it uh, like I would a streamer after that point. And I'm letting it make a little bit of bottom contact here or there, but it's a slow fall. And that thing's just hovering there. And so these fish have basically been picking it up while it's kind of drifting in the current there, just like that one did. There's a school it seems to have shifted right here to feed. I'm letting that my floating line just start to sink and then I'm starting to do this and I get a fish right there because they are stacked up right in that one spot and willing to eat and this one's a little better fish too closer to 13 or 14 by the size I'm seeing here I strong hardest thing for me is just keeping it away from those rocks because it will break me off I let it get in there too much. Oh, come back up. Come back up. There we go. There we go. It's been a great day. Another one of those leeches. I just keep finding those things on these fish. There we go. 
pull the leech off of him. We're gonna get him back now. Off she goes. Let me know if you guys want me to keep coming out and doing some more of this fly fishing for smallmouth bass on these smaller streams like this. Um, it's a lot of fun for me. I enjoy it, but I want to know if you guys like this content or not. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me come out and do some more of this or try some different flies on another river. Or anything else you'd like to see on the channel. Hmm. There we go. Fish on. Sweet. That's probably going to be the last fish of the day in this video anyway so if you guys enjoyed this leave me a thumbs up down below uh subscribe if you have not yet and we'll continue to come back out here and fish some more of these small streams for some ozark smallmouth bass i'm gonna get this guy back in the water here and uh enjoy the rest of your day explore deeper there's more out there tight lines everybody and we'll catch you on the next one